firstly, thank you all for coming to this today, especially those who have travelled quite far. My name is Cherie and I run a small business called The Rainbow Hair Artist. I might just start off with a little introduction about myself. So I started hairdressing when I was 16 years old. I'm now nearly 30. <laughs> so I've been doing it for a long time and I've always loved bright colours. Like ever since I was a young girl, bright colours was just my favourite thing to do when I was in the salon. I was always that you know, quiet, weird girl that was like, if anyone wanted anything creative, or, you know, go and see her. And that's just, just something that I've loved through my whole career. Um, I've had my own salon. I've worked for lots of other people before as well. And eventually I kind of got to a point where I just wasn't really enjoying it anymore. And um, I was just a bit over it. And this was the only thing that I enjoyed anymore. And I thought about it, you know, could I start a business doing this just rainbow hair and a lot of people kind of said, oh no, you know, that won't work and this and that. I'm like, no, I've just, I've got to try it. One last try before I just quit and go and work with the animals. Because <laughs> I love animals. Um, and yeah, it, it worked. So I started out as a mobile hairdresser. I'm still currently working as a mobile hairdresser. So I lug that suitcase around and I usually go to people's houses. Um, I am going to be setting up a home salon though next year, which I'm super excited about. And I'll be able to do some training in my own little home as well, which might make me a bit less nervous. Today, we've all got a handbook. And this is basically how I'm going to run the course, kind of step by step so that I don't lose track and hopefully we can all stay on the same page. We'll do, I'm going to do a little bit of the boring theory stuff to start with because it is really important to understand a bit about working with direct dyes before you start. So we'll start off with that, then I'm going to get into the mannequin kind of halfway and then do a little bit more theory once the colour's processing. So we're going to try and break it up so that it's not just me talking for the whole time. And because we're a smaller class, I will be able to get you up and have a go at actually doing some of that. So yay, very excited about that. So let's begin. If you open up your little handbooks, I have some notes for myself about what I want to talk about. Um, another thing I might just say before I fully get into it is you might notice if you've seen my stuff on Instagram, a lot of my work, I like to do balayages first. So I'll do a nice balayage, then I'll go over the top with vivids, just because that's the kind of style that I prefer. Uh, I like to take inspiration from really wild, crazy rainbow colours and kind of bring them in and just make them a bit more everyday, a bit more wearable. So quite often I will do a balayage first and then I will do my vivids over the top and you can see the difference. You know, this is really bright and crazy, which is great, but for um, people that want something a bit more everyday and wearable, we do the balayage first and yeah, that's just my own personal preference. That's usually what you'll see on my page is a vivid on some kind of root fade or balayage, but not in front of the brands. I want to just touch on brands as well. I'm not really brand specific hairdresser. This is what I use. I take a lot of different colors with me and I like them all like I'll find that I like one shade in one brand and then I'll like another shade in another brand. So I, I just prefer to kind of use bits and bods. After a while, once you've been using them for a long time, you will find your favorites. Like I have my go-to purple, my go-to blue, my go-to magentas, yeah. And they're all direct dyes. So when we say direct dye, we mean a, it's a pre-oxidized color molecule. So what that means is that the dye has already formed. There's no process like you have when you have um, an oxidizing tint and a peroxide and you mix the two together. There's no process. So what you see is what you are going to get as soon as it touches the hair. Yeah, basically all of these are direct dyes. They just come out in one tube. You don't mix them with anything. They just go straight on the hair and they work a lot like a stain. They kind of stain the hair. Yeah, let's see where we're at now, now that I'm starting to get a bit lost. <laughs> oh yes, okay, yes, I have started explaining that it is a stain. They stain the outside of the hair, so they, it's, it's a little bit tricky for sometimes to explain. I've got a diagram here for you which shows how they work. So they're not going on the inside of the hair, they're just staining the outside of the hair. 
but I will just draw a little diagram for you to really try and explain it because it can get a bit confusing. So I'm going to try and draw a strand of hair here. I'm sorry. It's like a bit, and it's, it's a bleached hair, so it's like seen some stuff, you know. <laughs> it's not a healthy hair because we know we've, we do have to pre-lighten hair for these colours to work. So usually our raggy, shaggy cuticle is kind of looking a bit like this. And these direct dyes will coat the outside of the cuticle. So that means they're not just on the outside like that, but they're kind of wrapping around the outside. See what I mean? So it's kind of a bit outside, a bit inside. Like not inside of the hair, but it wraps around the cuticle. So when the cuticle opens and it shuts in the hot and cold, like when we wash our hair, some of that color is lost because it's on the outside, but wrapping around the outside of the cuticle. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. I think you understand what I'm trying to explain. Mm -hmm. But it is, it is important. Because that, that has been a question that's come up before. So yes, and I do explain this to my clients as well. I try and let them understand how these work. Because once you understand how it works, it just kind of clicks with them. They understand why they have to use cold water. They understand that they are going to fade with every wash. Like every time you wash your hair, a layer of that stain is going to be removed from the hair. So that helps me set realistic expectations with my clients as well, because they don't last as long as normal colour. So I just do find that by explaining all of this to them as well, they understand and it, yeah, I just, I have less troubles with them. So now I've got to the end of this page. Before I move to the next one, does anyone have any questions about that? No silly questions, like, at all. <laughs> I mean, to clarify, there are no silly questions. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to stop talking and move on to the next page now.